it's Karen with Be Creative. I want to show you a few fun things from our website. Uh, we're going to go over our Be Creative bags. We're going to go over some must-have tools and other goodies, and we're going to touch on adhesive too. I want to remind you that our show special is going to be two different coupon codes on our website. Our website's www.shopbecreative.com and B has two E's in it. Uh, one coupon's going to take 20% off all adhesives. If it sticks it down or takes it back up, it's going to be 20% off with the coupon code MMT20EXPO. That's Mega Make and Take 20 Expo, MMT20EXPO. And then 30% off all stamps and or dies. And there's a lot of categories on our website that have stamps and dies in them. And we just received some really great new stuff from Hero Arts too. So that coupon code is going to be mmt 30 stamp die. I had to look, I had to cheat. So yeah, MMT 30 stamp die. And let's go over some fun things. So let's talk about one of our most iconic items at Be Creative. This is the Be Creative bag. A lot of you may have these from shows over the years. Uh, we've been doing our bags, oh gosh, for about 12 years now. And I'm really proud of them. They are US made. Um, I pick the fabrics myself. We switch out the fabrics every so often, but really top quality construction. Um, and they are made about 20 minutes from my house in Southern California. So they are locally made and hand sewn. And let me tell you a little bit about why they're so amazing. Um, those of you who have owned them over the years, maybe drop a comment um, and tell people why you love them. These are some of the patterns currently available. Let's take a deeper look at how they're made. I've got one right here. So first thing you'll notice is, well, it's big enough to hold a 12 by 12 storage box easily. These are known for not just scrapbooking bags, but this is a great computer bag, a weekender bag, a grandma bag, a diaper bag, all kinds of applications. And as uh, we ladies know, you can never have too many bags. I am guilty. I have so many bags. So um, this guy, as I said, holds 12 by 12. You'll notice first off that it's got that really nice, uh, high quality, thick padded strap. There's a lot of padding on the inside of this. So that's going to save your shoulder. They're really lightweight because there's no added heavy hardware. Uh, so you're just really carrying the weight of the goods that you put into it. But this wide strap is going to make sure it doesn't dig into your shoulder. You can wear it on your shoulder or across the body, across the front of you. Um, and I, being a tall person, uh, this is not too um, short for me. It works just fine. And if you're a short person, I would think it would work just as well because it's kind of a standard size strap, as you can see. Now on the inside, it's got a nylon lining, kind of like the backpack fabric. So that means it is waterproof and wipeable on the inside in case you have any, any kind of spills. You don't have to worry about it. The outside is top quality cotton fabric, and there's a lot of nice panning, uh, padding, excuse me, the, um, the fabric is laminated on the inside to kind of reinforce it as well. You'll notice there's pockets here. There's a lot of pockets here, a center pocket. Um, and let's look at one that's fully loaded so you can really get a feel for it. This is probably our most popular pattern right now. This is the really pretty pink bag. I've got a 12 by 12 storage box fully loaded and it easily slips inside there as you can see the center i could put like a paper keeper and put some papers in there as well and then i've got these three pockets i've got a water bottle right now but this could easily fit three bottles of wine if that's the way you roll and i roll that way sometimes too so wine no problem and then on the side we've got this pocket i have like my phone in there you've got another pocket on this side with the velcro just really, really utilitarian. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. So these bags normally at the show are gonna run $59.99, but we've got them on our website right now. Since we don't have any shows, they are $49.99. And as long as you spend $59 or higher, we do free shipping. So that is a great incentive to add this along with all of your adhesives and other stuff you might need. Um, if you have a bag, just let me know in the comments and tell me what you like about it or how long you've had it, what cut pattern you have. I've seen some people have kind of customized it where they've added a monogram or um, I've had some people kind of take it apart and add other stuff to it. Just really fun. So I love to see over the years how a lot of you have made it your own. At Be Creative, we're kind of known 
for having some of the essential tools uh, and supplies that you need. I want to talk about some of my favorites that have been really popular as of late. If you want to apply the sticky back onto your craft mat, your Cricut mat, any type of mat, like a repositionable tack, because sometimes the tack is not tacky anymore, or certain spots aren't tacky, or um, or it's too tacky, you really want to control the amount of sticky that's on your mats. And you don't want to have to keep buying mats over and over because that can get extremely expensive. So some of my favorites would be Pixie Spray, the Crafter's Companion Stick and Spray, and Easy Dots. So Pixie Spray, great for stenciling as well, putting down stencils with a temporary tack. Um, that just has kind of a fun name brand that's been popular as of late. A light tack, repositionable. The Stick and Spray by Crafter's Companion, you actually get a lot more in the can, so it is a better value price-wise. Um, and that, again, if you're going to remove it from a surface, like you have it on your craft mat, just use a baby wipe and wipe it off so you get to control the tack. Another thing you could do is to use repositionable dots like the Easy Dot Runner, where it's going to give you a line of little dots and that will just roll off with your finger, kind of like rubber cement. So you can use that if you want to apply some temporary tack to either paper that you're going to throw through a die cut machine or your stencils or, again, your craft mat. Another really fun item are the Ink Away Wipes. That has been quite popular, too. It's a great craft cleaning wipe to take um, stuff off of your stamps, your hands, all that good stuff. And you know what's a fun little happy byproduct of this is? There's actually alcohol and propylene glycol in it, which is the stuff that's in um, hand sanitizer, which has been so hard to find. So that's a really great thing to have on hand. It sanitizes as well as clean. So those are the ink away wipes that come like that. Um, I've mentioned it before and it bears worth mentioning again, undo my all time favorite. It takes everything off. It takes um, the sticky out of albums. It takes a bumper sticker off your car, a sticker off of like a price sticker off of a frame. If you have um, put had a, a small child or grandchild put stickers all over their wall, that'll take it off. It takes off um, wax off of the carpet. It is just an all around have to have it. Absolutely have to have it. Um, that is undo. Another fun thing would be the Tim Holtz ideology ruler. This guy is great because not only is it a 12 by 12 ruler, so it's going to take you 1 to 12, but it's a centering ruler. So it's got your 0 down here, so it takes you 6 to 0, 0 to 6. You don't have to math to figure out where the middle is. It's got little um, holes here, so you can go through if you need to mark areas with a small um, skinny pencil as well. So I use this a lot, not just for... Uh, layouts to figure out where the center is but when I'm doing any kind of lettering and I'm trying to position something on a card or an envelope really great ruler to have as far as inking you know cat's eyes have gone by the wayside the company that manufactured them actually went bye-bye very sad because I love my cat's eyes so this is kind of my new go-to which is not new it's been around and we have sold it but I, I like this set in particular of the Tim Holtz mini distress inks because yes it's a water-based ink but it's got the very best colors um, for essential inking of the edges and blending um, your black soot is just kind of a go-to but I would say probably the vintage photo is the one I use the most um, and then the antique lin linen will actually be a nice uh, lighter shadow that you're doing on the edges so you get four one by one pads in the set really great to have this on hand now we can't do much if we are cutting and we are like deckling or what do I want to say, distressing and we're not cutting. So if you've got any of these cutters or you need a new one, um, you need the blades. So blades are sometimes hard to find. Let's talk about blades for a moment. This is the We Are Memory Creepers 12 by 12 um, cutting apparatus but it does open up and there's a scoreboard so it'll take you out to 12 inches which is great comes with the scoring tool comes with an extra blade there are blades for that but the Fiskars is probably the most known because it's been around the longest one thing you need to look at when you're shopping a Fisker refill blade there's a lot of different trimmers out there there's um, all different types over the years they've really remodeled it changed the color what you need to look at though is there's um where is it? I versus G. 
Those are the two different types of blades. Now your eye blade is going to be your triple track. It says it right here. Triple track is the blade that's going to go on the more newer cutters where if you look at it, there's an actual track in there. And how you can tell is if you turn this sideways, can you see that? There's like a little lip on each side of that refill. And that lip is what fits in the track. So you have one, two, three tracks. That's why they call it a triple track. Now the very older models are going to be flat and there's no track. Do you see how that's just a flat top with one single track, which is the blade in the center? So before you buy a refill blade, make sure you see which type you have and if it needs that three track or if it's just the older model. The older model again is G and the newer ones are an I. And we have both of these on our website right now. Um, another fun thing would be having rounded corners. I mean, back in the day, maybe you had one and you don't know whatever happened to it, but this guy is just really great to have. This is from EK Success. You get two corner rounders in the set, so you get a one inch and a half inch. Really great to add clean, nice rounded corners to your projects. Now, as far as ink, I forgot one other ink that I have mentioned before, and I, I still love this guy. This is that Ranger White Pigment Ink Pad. It is an opaque white, which means it goes on top of dark papers and shows up. It's not transparent, so it's opaque, so it's good on all different surfaces, and it is also permanent and waterproof. So if you need a, a white ink, this is the one you want to have. Now, as far as blending ink, a couple options you can do. The newer um, Nuvo, Tools like this are kind of fun for more of a like a, a non-marked blending where it's like not really hairs and it's not really a sponge. It's just a very soft surface that gives you an even blend as you blend a surface for card backgrounds, that kind of thing. So for example, let me grab something, come around here. I've got like this card has this nice blue blended background. That can be achieved even with something as simple as a blending tool like this. This is a round blending tool. I like round because when we blend, we do circular motions and there are refills available for that as well. That's a great way to blend. Another way to apply ink, not necessarily blend, but just apply ink would be with your sponge dauber. I really like this guy. This is a full plastic case along with 40 daubers in there. You get absolutely everything. Really great set if you're looking for a really affordable option to get your case and your daubers. And these are the little finger daubers that fit on your finger to ink, as you can see in the picture there. Now, talking about some other fun things I really like um, as far as keeping paper, I love this guy. This is a like a paper keeper. It's got the gusseted bottom with the plastic on the inside that tucks down in there to hold it open. So this is gonna hold your 12 by 12 storage, or sorry, 12 by 12 papers really efficiently, um, crease free and expands. So that guy's really fun. In addition, there's also the Totally Tiffany, which is a set of three paper pockets, 12 by 12, that come with tabs so you can mark them. Great for not just organizing your paper, but if you're going to pre-plan layouts and want to tuck them away. So for when you're going to an event, you have your um, particular layout you're going to do ready to go. This is the total Tiffany, totally Tiffany paper pocket. So that's kind of fun too. Um, and lastly, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, the snow marker. If you haven't seen this before, this is just an absolutely must have too. This guy, it looks like a white paint pen. It comes out like a white paint pen. It's got that like uh, felt tip, but it allows you to do, I'll show you here. It allows you to do that puffed up finish as you can see on Santa's beard, not just for snow. Um, so it works for snow, Santa's beard. It works for popcorn, um, foam in your bathtub, bubbles, that kind of thing. Anything where you need a fun texture, the snow marker is it. I will show you how that works really quick. I'm just going to take my paint pan and I can either color or I can just dot, dot, dot like that to get some down. And then I'm going to take my heat tool. Let me see if this reaches. That would be good, right? And I'm going to try not to burn myself doing this. Going to hit that. Give it a second. Just like that. There he goes. And you can see 
it puffed right up, giving me really fun snow. I could add stickles to that to make that a little more sparkly. And this actually is a great piece of ephemera that's coming from the Tim Holtz uh, ephemera pack for Christmas. There's a small and a large, and there's lots of goodies in there. So those are some fun things you can use. So let's talk about favorite adhesives a little more in depth. Uh, this guy is brand new for me. This is from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L, which is, I would say, my favorite brand of adhesive. They have so many different things in terms of paper tape adhesives um, that really work well. They stick because not all adhesives are the same. And this is a very solid brand that sticks every time and doesn't come off over time. So this four pack is a great way if you want to try it out and get acquainted or just have a variety of stuff to work with. This is going to give you the easy runner. These are all disposable, by the way, no refills. So it's going to give you the easy runner that has the white permanent tape with the little, I call it railroad tracks. So that means it'll do a solid line of adhesive, but it'll also fan out and turn the corner if you need it to. And you can do little slivers if you need it for smaller areas, too, by just scooting the roller. And that's a permanent tape. Then there's the Easy Squares, which is pink. It's got the little squares in there, kind of like the old-fashioned paper tabs, except you don't have to peel them. It comes off in a runner. Um, and I believe there's, yeah, 650 squares in there. This guy's for vellum. Very hard to find something good for vellum. Not a lot of stuff works well. Your best bet with vellum um, is to use either a vellum runner like this or to use an all-over like sticky dot or a spray adhesive where you're covering the whole surface and you won't be able to see the line of demarcation where the adhesive stops and starts. Um, and this is, would be the case for either acetate or vellum. So I do like the Easy Runner um, vellum runner. Very nice to work with. This guy's the dots, which is the repositionable dots which can be used to, again, add sticky back onto a cutting mat, or if you just like the ability to pick up and place stuff and move it around, this is the one for you. Also, the nice thing about dots versus solid tape, if you're working with die-cut shapes that have lots of little holes in it, your dots will fall through the holes wherever there's nothing to stick to, and that ensures you don't have little... Uh, like tape hanging over the edge. So this four pack is a really great way to go to kind of have a little bit of everything, um, a little value pack. I believe it's the first item in our adhesives category. And keep in mind, all of our adhesives too are 20% off for you with that coupon code. Um, and our show specials, it's either at the bottom there or it'll be at the end. So you can make sure you use that to get 20% off anything in the adhesive category. If you want something that's a bigger gun, not disposable, um, this is my favorite. I've worked with this before. I just want to tell you about that because this is from also from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. These are the big giant guns, which is great because they're lightweight. They're easy to work with. I mean, I know some of you really love your ATG gun and that is fantastic. But for me, they're a little too big and a little too heavy. And when I work with smaller areas like cards, I need to be able to really manipulate it. And this gun is a good size for that. It doesn't jam up on me. Um, there are different guns. They're either the repositionable green dots, the red permanent tape. This is dots that are permanent. It is hard to find permanent dots. And this blue gun is dots that are permanent. And when we're working with this, just so you can see, really super easy. It comes out like this, very, very sticky, as you can hear. And to refill, you're simply hitting the side here lift it up you take this out just like that it pops back on so that means if you're in the middle of a project and you have die cuts and you need the green refill of dots you can do that so the refills that are available are going to include the permanent the repositionable dots and the clear ultra strong transparent which is kind of fun for those those projects like say glitter paper where it's tough to get stuff to stick so that is a great thing to use too another item in there in that category of scrapbook of adhesives by 3l is going to be the my stick either repositionable or permanent i like the permanent let me clear i'm getting messy do you ever get messy i'm sure you do stuff everywhere so i've got this guy here 
And what's great about him is it's not just that it's a refillable version of the small disposable runner. No, it allows you to, let's break it open and you can take a look. It allows you to have kind of a handle because for me, and oh, it's got this little, see I kind of, it's got this little guy so you can put a picture in here on both sides so you can put your dog, your cat, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but you don't need that. But what's nice is it opens so you're getting kind of like a handle to work with, something to hold on to. I have a lot more control if I've got this gripped in my hand versus a smaller runner where it's just in my fingers. My whole hand can fit on this. I can press the top, open it wider, close it smaller to really perfectly hug my hand, and then it's going to give me the same tape as the other runner. Same deal. And you just pop out the refill and pop it back in. Very easy. And it comes in three-pack refills or singles. So I really like that guy. If a big gun's not for you, that might be the way to go. Other options, if you like your um, glue arts gun, we do have those refills in a three-pack of permanent tape. And that's a very good value being on the 20% off. So we've got that. We've also got Tombow, too. I know a lot of you love your Tombow. So we have that. And let's see, what else have we got? I love my glue dots. I love my glue dot dispenser. My glue dot dispenser uh, comes with a roll of mini dots in there. It allows me to put any roll, aside from pop-up, I think that's a little too thick, but either the mini, the micro, the craft, the ultra thin, any of the boxes are going to fit in the dispenser. So you could line these all up on your desktop and be all set. It's got the perforated edge here so you can just rip off the tape and you're ready to go. You simply squeeze the back and you can put any of the rolls in there. So that is the glue dot dispenser. Very fun. Score tape is kind of a must have as well. If you want something that's really going to stick, um, score tape, similar to red line tape, I'd say. It's kind of like six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, but I find that score tape, being a paper tape, you can rip it with your fingers, whereas red line tape, you need to cut it. So, and there's a lot more widths of score tape. It goes from eighth, quarter, three eighths, half, all the way up to almost wallpaper. I mean, there's a lot. I would say the most popular would be um, eighth, quarter, three eighths, half. Um, and you get a lot on there, 27 yards. But yes, you can rip it with your fingers, which is great. If you're a fan of Nuvo, they've done a number of fun adhesives lately that have been quite popular. They've got a white glue that um, is a clear drying craft glue and very strong. They've also got a glue pen and a little baby tape runner, which is kind of fun. This is going to give you eight meters on there. So not a ton on there, but if you like Nuvo and you like the brand and you know they do good stuff, that's an option as well. So, um, and then of course, speaking of liquid glues, there's always the designer dries clear. This is kind of the go-to if you're doing any kind of paper flowers, dimensional flowers where you're adding glitter. You need something that won't crack, that dries clear and very flexible. The art glitter is it. I will tell you, there is an eight ounce bottle as well that's a refill and the manufacturer of the bottle, not the glue, but the people who make the bottle, I just learned they're gonna be out for like four months because of all the craziness happening in our world. So once I run out of, I have a set of this where you get a two ounce, um, a tip and the eight ounce bottle, the bigger bottle. Um, once I run out, I will be out for a while, but we are bringing in um, a limited number of 16 ounce. So if you really like this glue, that is a humongous bottle and it is a good value on sale. So you can stock up that way, uh, but we will have plenty of the two ounce also. So I hope you liked a closer look at some must have goodies. And just a reminder, our website is always open and you can just wear your slippers. So it's so great. And I look forward to seeing you back at a show real soon. In the meantime, enjoy doing all your make it takes.